So what we're going to do in this video is analyze this RL circuit using Ohm's law and Kirchhoff's voltage and current laws, um, but it's an AC circuit, so we have to take that into consideration. To start off with, before we do any kind of calculations, let's take a look at what we do know about the circuit. Well, the first thing we know is that we have a 10 volt source. So we can say that the total voltage here is 10 volts with an angle of zero degrees. That's going to be our reference. It's, it's an arbitrary point, but it makes it much easier if we pick that as our zero degree phase shift reference. We also know the impedance of the resistor. It's five ohms with a phase angle of zero degrees. And of course, that's polar notation in rectangular notation. That will be five plus J zero ohms. We also, well, we know the inductance and we can use the inductance and the frequency to figure out what the reactance of that inductor is, as well as the, the impedance. So that calculation, XL is equal to two pi times the frequency, which is 60 hertz, times the inductance, which is 0 0.01 henrys. Multiply all that out, and we get 3.7699 ohms. So the inductance then, the impedance of the inductance is 3.7699 with a phase angle of, not zero, 90 degrees because it's an inductor. So in rectangular coordinates, that'll be zero plus J 3.7699. Next thing we can do is combine these two impedances to get the total impedance of the circuit. So the total impedance is going to be the vector sum of that impedance of the resistor plus the impedance of the inductor. So additions are always easier to do when in rectangular form. So 5 plus J0 plus 0 plus J 3.7699. I'm not going to write all that out. We have 0 real part for the inductor, 5 for the resistor. So that'll just be 5 for 5 real part for the overall impedance, plus the imaginary part of the impedance was zero for the resistor and 3.7699 for the inductor. And of course, that's in ohms. Now we can convert this into polar notation. So the rectangular to polar conversion, we'd have the magnitude will be the square root of five squared plus 3.7699 squared. And the phase angle will be arc tan of the inductive part, or the imaginary part, I should say, divided by the real part. And that works out to, got it written down here somewhere, 6.262 with a phase angle of 37.016 degrees. Next thing we're going to do is calculate the current. This is a series circuit, so the current is going to be the same for all devices, and that current will be equal to the total voltage divided by the total impedance. And we have those two numbers. We have those two numbers in polar notation. So we're going to use that because it's going to be much easier to divide in polar notation. 10 volts with a phase angle of zero divided by 6.262 ohms with a phase angle of 37.016 degrees. Well, to do this division, we divide the magnitude parts, and that gives us a value of 1.597 amps. And the phase angle part, well, to get the phase angle, we take the phase angle on the numerator, subtract the phase angle on the denominator, denominator so we get negative 37.016 degrees. And we can convert this from polar notation into rectangular notation. I don't think we'll actually need it later on in the circuit, but it's a, it's a fairly easy process to go through. So it'll be 1.597 cos of negative 37.016 plus J 1.597 sine of negative 37.016. And that works out to, And of course, that's in amps. I'm not going to write this part in the table. I'm only going to write the, um, the polar notation part in the table here. And I get 
1.597 angle, negative 37.016. And that's the same for the inductor and the same for the resistor. And finally, to calculate the voltage across the resistor and voltage across the inductor, I can use the AC version of Ohm's law. Voltage is equal to current times impedance. And I've got the current for each current going through each one of those components, and I know the impedance of each one of those components, so this will be an easy calculation. The voltage across the resistor is equal to 1.597 angle negative 37.016 degrees. So there's the current in amps. And the impedance of that resistor, of course, is 5 ohms with an angle of 0 degrees. And of course, I have these in polar notation because it's much easier to do multiplications in polar notation. I simply multiply the magnitudes, and I get 7.9847 volts. And then for the phase angle, I simply add those phase angles. Negative 37.016 degrees. And as you'd expect, the current and the voltage through that resistor are in phase with each other. And the final calculation, the voltage across the inductor. Again, I times the impedance. So same current because we're dealing with that series circuit there, 1.597 amps with a phase angle of negative 37.016 degrees, multiplied by the impedance of the inductor, which is 3.0. 7699 with a phase angle of 90 degrees. So multiply out the magnitudes 6.0203 volts with a phase angle of negative 37.016 plus 90 degrees, which gives me 52.984 degrees. And of course, for each one of these, I can do the conversion of polar to rectangular, and I get 6.3756 minus J4.8071 volts, and also This example comes straight from an online textbook, so be sure to check out the link in the description because there you can find more examples like this as well as more videos and practice problems and all sorts of things to help you learn your electrical and electronic circuits. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.